Terhi here again with another layout for Create a Smile stamps. I'm using a bubbles, uh, speech bubbles stencil today and these magic flowers stamp stamp set. I'm starting with you constantly amaze me stamp phrase with which was amazing and fits perfectly for my photograph. As you see, I'm not too exact with my stamping. I'm just doing some uh, stamped paper I can use later between my paper layers. Then I'm adding some yellow paint with a makeup sponge to this uh, watercolor paper. I'm not making it even here, uh, just some paint here and there to create this unique kind of background. Um, I like the way it looks with these uh, sunshine, ascending sunshine papers you see behind this painted one. Again, I'm using Magic Flowers stamp set. Now I took uh, two flowers and stamping with uh, archival ink to this painted paper. Um, I'm going to do some fussy cutting and I don't really like it. I'm not good at it, but I like challenges and <laughs> want to try something new. I'm cutting these all, although I'm not using them all, but um, practice make a master, <laughs> right? So then I'm going to cut more papers now with the paper trimmer, which is a lot easier. Um, doing some paper slices and paper pieces to create a lot of layers. These papers are all from Sending Sunshine Kit, which was released uh, early summer or late spring this year from Create a Smile and I love the color scheme here. They are so so versatile to use with uh, anything and and I see a lot of papers to uh, can be coordinated with these, these papers. Uh, I want to create more interest. That's why I use that uh, round punch to create this kind of negative punch thing paper. Then once I'm happy with all the cutting, I'm taking my background and this stencil. I put some plastic back behind it, then uh, spraying some mist on it and then stamping it against the background. This is really easy, but yet a really effective uh, technique and I really enjoy to do this. Uh, you can dip the stencil again to this mist and um, stamp again, like I do here. Just adding more color and then pressing it against the background. I did use some clear gesso for my background as these mists are so wet that this uh, paper can then get really crumby. Um, and that's why I used clear gesso. And uh, now I take again my stamping tools and I'm repeating this, you constantly amaze me um, phrase on the background, just to make sure it really pops out and people who see my layout can really know what I, I'm about to say. Then once, once I'm happy with the stamping, I'm taking my paper slices again and creating some layers. Um, creating layers and doing a paper cluster is the most uh, funniest part with this paper crafts and scrapbooking. I really like it. Um, you can just add and add and add and as I'm using stapler, you can add um, things even later when you have glued the cluster down to the background. Another great uh, thing about stapling paper layers together is that you can remove the stap just a, a metallic thing uh, if you wish. 
you can take it away and it, redesign it all again over. Uh, here I'm using double-sided tape to adhere my paper cluster, but you can use any glue or gel medium or even maybe some chisels will do also as a glue, but I like to do with double-sided tape and some drops of glue. Then I'm designing where to put all these flowers. As you can see, uh, the painted color is, uh, is kind of alive. It's not even and it creates a nice details to this layout. If you wonder where all my texts are, you will find them soon. I'm adding them right now. Uh, one is for title on top of this photograph and some are peeking here and there on the background. Um, I kind of like to repeat something I'm going to say. It, uh, it makes a unique look. Uh, I'm adding one flare pattern and then those circles I punched before to add even more interest here and there. Uh, and then I'm going to cover my picture and add some splashes of inks. I have done quite many layouts for Create a Smile already. And one thing in common with those all are these enamel dots and enamel arrows. These are so cute. I really like to recommend you to try them. They are so small and cute and they make a really nice details, details to lay out. I'm drawing some lines around them to make these little dots to pop up. Um, I want to thank you all for coming and watching and hearing, uh, listening me. Um, we'll see you soon and thank you for coming.